Hello and welcome back to Storytime at Nana's House. So good to have you here once again. Book I want to share right now. It's got my favorite Bible storybook for little ones. Or not so little. This book right here was published by my friends over at Bend and Books. So give me permission to share. Here we go. My favorite Bible storybook for little ones. In the beginning, God created the sun and the moon and the stars. He filled the earth with plants and animals and birds. Then he created Adam and Eve to take care of everything he had made. Noah built a big boat for his family and all kinds of animals. It rained and rained and rained. But everyone was safe inside the ark. When the sun came out, God made a rainbow to show his love. The princess found a basket on the river. Inside was a little baby. How cute. She rescued him and raised him. The baby was Moses. He grew up to be a great man who loved God and helped. Noah and the Ark, and the princess, and baby Moses. David was a shepherd. He cared about every little lamb, just as God cares about you. It's true. David also played the harp. When he grew to be a king, he wrote songs about God's love. Daniel loved God and always said his prayers. When he was in a lion's den, he prayed to God to protect him. The lion didn't hurt him one bit. God kept Daniel safe. Here's David and here's Daniel. Long ago, baby Jesus was born. Jesus was a special gift from God to the whole world. He was born on a night that we call the first Christmas. Jesus became a great and loving teacher. He taught that God could help us anytime. One day, Jesus took five small rolls and two dried pieces of fish from a small boy who wanted to share his food. He fed many, many people. It was a miracle. Once, when Jesus was in a boat with his friends, a storm arose. The waves grew higher and higher. Jesus told the storm to be still. And guess what? A storm calmed, and everyone was safe. Here's Jesus taking the five loaves of bread and two fishes the boy wanted to share. And here, Jesus calming the storm. People came to listen to Jesus teach about God and God's love. Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Jesus loves every child, and he loves you. And that really isn't the end, <laughs> the end of this book particularly, but Nana wanted to let you know Jesus does love you, whether you're a child or whether you're a grown-up. Jesus loves each of us so very much, and if only you knew how much he does. I hope that you do already, but if not, let Nana encourage you today to seek him while he still may be found. It's time for me to go, my friends, but before I do, I just want to encourage you to continue letting your light shine by being kind. Because in a world where we can be absolutely anything we want, please be kind. Thanks again for stopping by. Until next time, take care of yourselves. God bless you. And always, always, always remember that this Nana right here really does love you. Take care.